Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. I have my Iceco VL45 and I have my Set Power RV45 single and I wanna run a 24 hour power consumption test. Now tomorrow's forecast is to be 96 degrees in our area. So that's a perfect temperature to see how much power these fridges use over a 24 hour period on a hot day. So I started this test at 7 p.m. tonight and you can see it's a little bit over 80 degrees. Now we have both fridges running off the AC power and I'm gonna be tracking all the power consumption via these kilowatt meters. Now the one on the left is for the set power fridge. It's set on eco mode pulling 33 watts. The one on the right is for the Iceco fridge set on eco mode and it's pulling 36 watts. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the set power fridge. I have two gallons of water four soda cans, and two water bottles. So looking in my Iceco VL45, I have a very similar setup to keep the test results as close as possible. Two water bottles, four soda cans, and two gallons of water. Now I plan to do an update every couple hours so we can just track the power usage, especially when it's super hot outside. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thermometer inside the fridge so we can track the temperature, see if it can keep up during these hot temperatures. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave these overnight and we'll check back in the morning. Okay guys, it's the next morning. They ran all night. Let's go ahead and look at the power meters. Now the test has been running for about 12 and a half hours. Let's go ahead and see what the power consumption is at right now. Okay, the set power fridge is at 130 watt hours and the Iceco VL45 is at 150 watt hours. Just to give you an idea of the power draw when the compressors aren't running, the set power seems to be pulling one watt and the Iceco pulls 2.6 watts. We'll check in a little bit later today. Okay, it's been a couple hours. Let's go ahead and look inside and see what the temperature is. It's a little bit above 30 degrees. That's an excellent temperature. Let's make sure we go and lock these down just to keep the temperature good inside. Let's go ahead and look at the meters. Okay, it's been 18 hours. Let's go ahead and see what the power usage is. Okay, so there's a good angle for the power usage. Uh, 200 watt hours on the set power, 230 on the ice co. Well, let's just give it a little bit more time and check in a little bit later. Okay, so we did a temperature check on the ice co. Let's do one on the set power. Okay, what are we sitting at? Wow, that's exactly where the VL45 was sitting. So very good temperature regulation on this unit as well. Okay, so we're basically coming to the end of the test. I thought I'd show you guys how it is outside right now. Now that is the sun and we are just swallowed up by wildfire smoke from California. So isn't that disgusting? But the test has been running for over 24 hours. The high today got up to 93, so it was a little bit less than expected, but you know, 93 is definitely better than a 70 degree ambient test. So let's go ahead and take a look what we got on the power meters. Okay guys, any guesses to which one pulled more power? This is the set power, this is the ice co. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, they both ran for 24 hours and 42 minutes. Moment of truth. Okay, the set power pulled 310 watt hours. The ice co pulled 350 watt hours. Well guys, that's definitely lower power consumption than I thought. Now, these two fridges are definitely some of the most insulated fridges you can buy on the market. Um, each of them has about two and a quarter inch thick walls of insulation. So if you're looking for an efficient fridge, you can't go wrong with either of these models. Now, as long as you have your fridges out of direct sunlight, you should have very similar results to what I saw today. Anyway, guys, hopefully you found this information helpful. This was a fun test. And uh, I'll look forward to doing other tests like this in the future. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.